Chatting with Kirsten, Nicole, and Eris. All right, Eris. Well, thankfully, you and Jasmine were able to turn things around, and you ended tonight on a high note. Yay. Take a look at this clip. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Dear Lori, I miss you guys, and I want to say I'm sorry for anything that I've done to cause us to be apart for so long. And now I can say with assurance that I handle responsibility a lot better. I'm looking forward to seeing both my son and his lovely mother. That will make me the happiest man alive. I love you both. Sincerely yours, Irvin Williams. That was a sweet letter. So how do you feel watching that back? It's a lot, but I was happy that I was able to share that with her and express that with her. And like we all have like traumas that we've been through. And this is like another example of me like just kind of going all in, letting her know that it's okay and this is a safe space. She seems receptive here though. Yes. Tell me what does your dad mean to you? Man, he means like everything. Like like that superhero figure. Like the memories I do have, I mean he he left when I was eleven, but the memories I do have are just they're so cool, you know, like riding in the back of his car. I remember he had like a tape player and a CD player. And I'm like, wow, this is so cool. Like, you got a tape player and a right? CD player? Right, now we don't have none of those Yeah, anymore. you know, <laughs> and I, like, I, my love for sneakers kind of came from him. Like, going to his house and like, going his whole closet, just sneaker, 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 every single color, you know? So like, I try to emulate a lot of, a lot of that. So is Jasmine the first woman you shared this letter with? Yes. Oh, wow. Because usually I just leave it at like, Oh, my father passed away. Okay. I don't even get into, like, my father was murdered. Like, I don't oh. get into no details, but I, I like, kind of went there with her and, like, opened up and shared. So that was, that was a pretty cool moment. So what are you guys, what do you think of Eris here? Just smiling from ear to ear. It's uh -huh. so incredible to see you open up like this, and it's just really beautiful. And I see where you get your self-awareness from, and I think that that's really special. I love this side of you. Thank you. I'm not flirting. <laughs> Maya from Chicago. Maya from Chicago. I'm not flirting. <laughs> so, Kristen, how about you? I feel like it is. It is a turning point right then and there because that's just him showing his vulnerable side and just being intentional. And this is the first woman he's read this authentic official letter to. Like, that's a big moment in time that they share. So what did you learn about Jasmine or, or your marriage after reading this letter to her? Anything? Even though I don't mind being vulnerable, like she has created a space where I'm very, very comfortable. Like mm -hmm. I feel, I don't feel like I'm gonna like say something and she's gonna like throw it back in my face mm -hmm. two days later or she's gonna look at me as being weak or less of a man right. because I'm, I'm showing this like emotional side. So the fact that I just can feel at peace and like in total comfort and like being myself. Okay. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. But before we go, here's a sneak peek at what happens on next week's brand new episode of Married at First Sight. There we go. Next time on Married at First Sight. A whip? Are you trying to kidnap me? It's getting very hot and bothered. Do you feel like you're getting your needs met? Um, no. I ain't trying to be your friend. I'm trying to be your wife. Do you think he's masculine? Um, I didn't realize I had so many issues. I think I'm just at a point where I'm at my breaking point. It's going down next week. Yes. <laughs> Emotional roller coaster ride. Right. I'm on edge every week. I'm always on edge too. I'm, I'm like, in Here Chicago looking for Maya. <laughs> oh, look, Maya, you better watch out. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> well, Kirsten, Nicole, and Eris, thank you so much for joining.